what is going on everybody in today's video we are going to be doing a bit of a deep ish dive into what's going on with the whole camper coop situation and what i'm going to be planning on breeding in here so let's get right to it let's do this all right guys before i get started this is going to be part one of a series i'm going to be doing where i do a deep dive into each coop that I have and what my breeding plans are gonna be and where I wanna be in the future with it. So just wanted to put that out there. There'll be more of these of different coops sprinkled around in between some of my regular videos. So yeah, let's get to the camper coop. So this is the camper coop from the outside. It's not very nice looking. I'll tell you that right now, she is not. But if you come inside, We've got windows, which they decided to poop on. All of this, there's the run opening. There's their nest box, which we have a girl laying. And here are their roost poles. Now, honestly, for what I have going on, this is probably one of my favorite coops. Now, it does not look very nice, but it functions probably the best out of all of mine because this used to be a pop-up camper as you would hear from the name of camper coop it used to be a pop-up camper that my grandparents turned into a blind and then gave to me for free so this was zero cost on my part for all of this stuff in here those feed bags are there it looks really weird at the moment but they're there because winter it's still kind of cold and I don't want too much airflow through here because this bad boy got three windows and they all let air in. But let me tell you, during the winter, this coop is one of the warmest out of all my coops because the bottom around here is all insulated. So it is very, very nice on the inside. And then that is one of my lake invelder hens, which I am getting to right now to talk about. All right, everybody. As you can see, all of the black and white chickens are my lake invelders. He is the only rooster in here at the moment, which we're working on. I'll get to the roosters in a second, but these hens are known for their black head, black tail, and white body. It is okay to have a little black on the wings. She has a little more than I would like, which I will show you a standard of perfection picture right here. And I'm, pro I'm not gonna sell them because they're very rare in this area and I would like to breed. But as you can see, her back has a lot of black speckles. That is not desirable in the breed. But, I'm just looking to improve through my backyard breeding. Now I'm calling it backyard breeding because I am not super serious about just the lake and builders being standard of perfection. Uh, I just really love the breed. So I'm going to try to slowly improve, but not to the extent of like a massive standard of perfection breeder, which standard of perfection is the quality that you want your chickens to be if you show them or anything. So they don't have to be standard of perfection for you to, you know, just own them. Like if you just want eggs, they do not need to be standard of perfection. But I have a couple hens that I'm trying to keep standard of perfection and stuff. So yeah, anyway, they are known for their black head, black tail and white body. As you can see, the rooster has an amazing black head. His tail, I will say, is a little bit lackluster. You can see the white coming in through his tail. That's a little lackluster. So I really plan to pair him with a hen that has a whiter head and a very dark tail, which as you can see, like she would not be the one because she has a light head and a light tail. But if you look at maybe this one, she has a little bit of leakage, but that tail is like jet black. But her head, as you can see, should be completely black, but has white. So that crossing 
would be very fun because I would be able to improve the rooster's dark tail feathers and improve her head color. So you see, breeding chickens is not the most easy thing in the world, which the good thing is I don't have to like help them mate or anything like that. It's super simple, super easy. You just let them do their thing. But also at the same time, if you don't have quality stock, you're not gonna, you are not going to have a show quality bird. So I got all these birds from a hatchery. Now, any breeder will tell you that is the dumbest idea ever if you're trying to breed towards standard. Now, I don't want to personally go out unless I'm at Ohio Nationals and like get tempted. I do not want to go out and spend 50 plus dollars for a bird. Now that's for the lower end of the scale. If you buy a more show quality, like, adult hen, they can be 200, 250, even 500 for certain breeds and stuff. So you really need to be like thinking if you want to breed standard of perfection, you either got to start at the bottom and work your way up or start closer to the top. And that's the easiest way, but also at the same time, I don't have the money at 16 years old without a job <laughs> to spend $500 on a bird because I have over 80 and that's just not very smart for me to do. So anyway, back to the Lakenvelders and the Wyandots. Now, if you look right here, that is a splash laced red Wyandot. Now, these were from a hatchery. So yes, quality is pretty low. Their red is not where I would want it at all. I would almost call them a splash lace gold. If you've ever seen a gold laced Wyandotte, I'll pop up an image right here. Um, a gold laced Wyandotte is probably closer in color, but in the future, I'm planning on breeding towards a deeper, darker red, which you're probably wondering, hey Kyle, where the heck are the roosters to breed with them to even get purebred babies and let me show you where they are all right so this little coop is right next to the camper coop but i count it as the same coop because this has to do a lot with these guys so these are my splash laced red wyandot roosters now if you look he is very golden so if we're gonna breed him it would be more towards the gold splash lace gold chicks and him he is a deeper red so he is the one i'm planning on keeping because his color will improve the girls over there that have more golden but if i wanted to breed towards golden butter he would probably be the rooster but we're also looking at their comb shape which that one's very good because you want it to come to a point in the back and be close to their head. And then also we're looking for lacing on their chest. As you can see with this one, his chest is laced and he has a deep auburn red, like mahogany burgundy color on his wings, which he is also a question mark if I'm gonna keep him. So I'll picture, I'll put up a picture of Standard of Perfection Wyandotte. They do not have splash laced red in the Standard of Perfection, so you can't technically show him, but these aren't show quality anyway, so I wouldn't plan on showing them. Anyway, I have like six of them in here, and I'm planning on picking just one, and they are gonna get separated with all the hens that are Wyandots from over there and they are going to go in the ch a chicken tractor out front of our house that is called the dot plot because it's Y and dots and it's gonna be their plot of land, I guess. I just thought that was hilarious and I put it on the coop and I called it the dot plot. So yeah, these guys, I'm also working towards getting a dark mahogany reddish brown color. Who knows, I might have to call off a few hens, which would be sell them. 
But if you look at that one, that one has a darker red and that one's more of a gold and you do not want that gold color right there when you're breeding for laced reds, any color laced red, because that is not desirable at all. But you can see like golden on the front of her chest, but on the side of her wing, it's darker. And this one is more all around dark, but there are a few golden feathers, which I think we can improve. Anyway, that is pretty much the Wyandotte. They're more hard to breed because when you breed for lacing, that is a harder feather type to get perfected because of the fact of how intricate the pattern is. You want every feather to be laced, which with these birds, they're not because they were from a hatchery. So yeah. Anyway, if you guys liked this kind of video where I don't go deep into genetics, but I kind of tell you what I'm planning on doing and show you the coop they're in and everything, just let me know and I'll keep doing them. And if not, then I'll stop. <laughs> I don't really care either way. I just really love talking about my chickens. So if you guys like this video, make sure to like, subscribe, hit that bell and comment down there. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.